Now at 530 amid scorching heat and low humidity, the line fire rapidly grows to over 17,000 acres in San Bernardino County. The fire started on Thursday and is being fueled by dry brush. Evacuations have been ordered in several communities and others are under warning. Now Jennifer McGraw is live for us. She's got the latest now, Jen. Rick and Cord, the situation changing about every half hour. First it was windy, then it was smoky. Now the sun is out, it even rained ash on us. Now just a couple moments ago, I spoke with residents. We're in the Mill Creek area, just east of where the fire began in the hillside community. And we were just told and heard tons of sirens racing just down the street, heading towards the fire that was coming down the mountainside towards the Mill Creek area. The last thing they want is for this fire to jump the 38 highway. Now take a look. Here's some video that we shot yesterday of some of the fierce flames on Highway 330 after the fire not only jumped the highway but was racing towards Running Springs. Yesterday, it, the day before, it was 7,000 acres and then it jumped to 17,000 acres last night with still 0% containment. Additional evacuation warnings have also been issued. More than 35,000 homes and structures are being threatened. It's extremely smoky out here and it's also causing the ground attack to be grounded. And while they have hundreds of crews out here, resources and equipment, that air attack absolutely helps. We spoke with neighbors here in the Mill Creek area and they say obviously they're concerned and hope that firefighters can save their community as well as we spoke with experts earlier today. Yeah, so the thunderstorms come in and they start having downdrafts that can blow the fire in any different direction where normally we can predict where the fire is going to go. But with the thunderstorms, you never know. If the lightning comes with no rain, uh, it has the potential to light this brush that's ready to burn on fire and start a new fire, which we don't want. Many communities are under mandatory evacuations, others under warnings. Those are obviously fluid. The warnings are popping up all over the place. Many people around these communities know better, though. They have the apps. They've been speaking with the sheriff's department. They are watching very closely because they, again, they're used to fires in their neighborhood and they want to make sure that they get their stuff, they get out. Be sure to pay attention to those warnings. Now, that's the very latest. We are live in Mill Creek. Back to you. Jen, thank you. Yeah, the